everybody know again, man, second time around, man, my homie, my boy, man, I hate my other homie couldn't be here, but it's all I love. Shout out to the homie, man, but let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming. Alright, shit, I go by Reese Mary J, man, I'm from the north side, now I'm hey. like home still, but you know what I'm saying? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you ain't making hits, you gotta sit on the bench, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out my manager that pissed the fake people, you know what I'm saying? Like she said, he couldn't be here, but... Man, for real, for real. Shout out Pete, man. Shout out my boy. Y'all came back and seen me, man. What's been up? The latest I just said you've been on a hiatus, man. I ain't seen you, but I know you've been working, man. What's been the latest since we last met? It's been some about a year. Damn, two albums. Damn them two. We two albums behind right now. Oh, okay. Two, I'm on my third album since we, you know, the last time you interviewed me, I was doing Don't Take It Personal. Now mm -hmm. I didn't drop no filter. Then I'm finna drop uh, Street Recognition. So. You've been putting it in work. Yeah. And this most song, I ain't even done that. This album finna drop, I ain't gonna lie, I'm still finna record some other nights. So I might fuck around and drop an album and fuck around and drop an EP. Mm -hmm. Still got back to back video shoots, I got more interviews, hella features. I also got a feature in this past year with, I don't know if you heard of D Rob Fish. Man, 15 come on, 1501 D Rob, that's my yeah. homie, man. Shout out D Rob, man. Talk about yeah. that, then you landed on us like that. Shit, it was like. You know, shit like, I don't know. I really wasn't too big on features until like, you know, my manager hit me and he was like, mm. what you, he's like, man, I just want you to get a feature so we can, you know, get a little more buzz so we can get interviews and shit. You can talk about it. And I'm like, man, nah. So I had thought about it. I said, man, I ain't gonna lie. I heard about d rock He was like, who d rock So he scammed through his page or whatever. He said, see what he talking about. And he really, really the feature was on the low low. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it was off the love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of niggas. I get featured with they don't charge me full price because I'm, they say I'm hard, you know what I'm saying? They be like, you tough, so really, I'm gonna throw you like a little budget in there. So it's really like, all my features ain't really full to pay for. Man, big facts, rich made, back street shit, man. Got my homie, man, the movement is still alive, man. What keep y'all going, man? What keep the whole game going? What keep you going? Shit, really, life in general, shit. I like to say, shit, as long as we keeping our head up, being on the team, man, ain't really nothing else to do. Right. Common sense shit, you know what I'm saying? It's either you are WM4L or you know what I'm saying? You gotta fall off the wagon and get left behind. Nah, for real, for real, man. We gotta talk about the track in the background real quick. Ah, right, nigga, man, what's what's going on, man? What's that about? Man, this is a, a long story. It really, the song, the song really explained. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with the ops, nigga. You been punched on. I don't give a fuck if you is that, if you associate with that, then I'm gonna punch you down, nigga. So this is just me. Like, we played that. I don't give a fuck, shit, man. Child, for real, for real, man. Nah, <laughs> no bullshit, <laughs> man. Drop some advice to these artists, man. You been working, you already know how this rap shit go, man. Give them some advice. Hey, man, never stop working, nigga. Put God first. I ain't gonna lie, put God first. My granny always tell me that. I learned that the hard way. Put God first. Once you get good prayer with God, you gonna see different changes in life. Mm -hmm. so I, once I started doing that, I started having back to back shows, just more, more things, opportunities in life just came for me. Mm -hmm. so really, I like to say, don't stop writing, don't stop grinding. Work more than you sleep, bro. That's how I like to say. Work more than Work you more sleep. sleep. Be fair, I really bro. go out three, four hours of sleep and I'm up in the morning. And they be like, man, why is you up? Hey, man, as long as I give me a couple hours of sleep. You know what I'm saying? I just like, cool, let's go with it. I'm on it. You know, that's the thing. I, I always say I'm on it. I don't know if you heard about the shirts. I own niggas, niggas all the time. That's my merch. Man, talk about it. Probably even yeah. say on it, on it. I mean, on niggas, niggas all the time. Nigga, I'm applying pressure every time when I step on the mic. When I step anywhere, niggas gonna know what it is when they see me. It's another reason why I got this album coming out called Street Recognition. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas know what it is when they see me. Nah, for real. Not man. a place I can't go in and nigga be like, yo, rich man, what it is? Good. Nah, for real, man. And you tease and you keep dropping these teaser videos, man. What's going on, man? Is we gonna get the murder tape, a murder rape? Is we getting something oh, yeah. else? What's what's going See, on? See, really, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really have a release date for it, but I'ma just, I'ma just say I'ma go back to kind of my first tape, mm -hmm. and I'm finna push more. Do not disturb. I don't know if you heard more about Do Not Disturb. It's one of my little songs. I'ma push. I'm promoted in all the clubs, so we're gonna go from there and let them numbers run up. Man, turn the fuck up. And it's, that one with D Roy is called Keep Distance. Yeah, Keep Distance. Keep Distance with All for the Fake Motherfuckers, or what's that about? Shit. I said, uh, what I said. Hey, if it ain't about business, then don't talk to me. It's street shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
If we talking in the streets, you gotta be about this money or you gotta be about business. It ain't I let Pity Fat playing niggas <laughs> doing. I ain't without it. I'm nah, gonna, I'm for real. Nah, for real. And speaking of the streets, man, I gotta ask, I don't know if I asked you this before, but is it dangerous? Has it got that more dangerous being an artist and shit than this shit? I ain't gonna lie, what I am gonna say is it ain't really it, the streets dangerous for buzz, no matter where you with, you know what I'm saying? Right. The streets is the streets, a hood is a hood. Big you know what I'm saying? So if you don't know how to maneuver through the hood, then you ain't gonna make it. So all I can say is, in my eyes, the streets is just the streets. It's like a playground to me. So it's like the feds, the loud, them motherfuckers. Man, them motherfuckers is really, yeah, I done been in some situations with the feds lately like too. So it's really like, they, you know, man, they, they really locking up all the rock. Around, you know what I'm saying? Like, no niggas just. Hey bro, let me do a song, but when I talk about a feature person, they wanna damn, you gonna do me like that? Then nigga, I just meet, hey, we shake up, he, let's yeah. do a song. I'm like, hey, what's your buddy? He, what you mean, huh? You don't remember who I am, huh, bro? Nah, nigga, I remember exactly who you is, nigga. You ain't talking business, don't talk to me. Nah, big so, facts. Like, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you done got your business, and I know a part of it has to do with your manager and shit, man. This go around, like, you taking this shit more serious. Like the motivation behind that shit is crazy. So what do you see your right now? Okay. Because from this, this this day forward, from this interview on that, ain't nothing but success. So it's like I'ma just keep pushing until they be like, hey, it's your time. Nah, for real. That's how God comes. So I just know it's coming soon because I feel it spiritually. So. Nah, for real, for real. And I see the growth shit just how you looking for when you first came to me to the growth nah, of the music, real. man. Like, what, what, how did that happen, man? What was the keys to just transitioning to a better life in your career, better off the ground? Life experiences. Growing up. Baby, I'm gonna. Man, it's an early fatherhood, too. So it's like a lot of shit woke me up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to stop doing a, a lot of certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Come so, on. Go ahead. I had to stop doing a lot of certain shit, you know, a lot of little boy shit cut out, you know what I'm saying? It was more focused on to the top, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't positivity, then negativity out the door. Nah, for real, big back shoes for coach shit, man. <laughs> New visuals, man, are we getting more videos to the, uh, any other tracks? Oh yeah, I nigga that feature right there. This month, matter of fact, shout out Pistol Pete for setting it up with my engineer at Mixed by 2020 Guap. They coming together on some management, engineering, visual type shit. So you know what I'm saying? So we getting a big ass video shoot going on in August, you know what I'm saying? I feel like anybody can pull up this little bullshit at the house. Little you know what bullshit saying? at the house. Um, really, I'm just on some hey, if you gonna come turn up, you gonna come eat and come eat and not just start, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real, for real. Let me ask you this just to be on topic. Do you think hip hop they just doing too much to the baby? You know, he losing all them endorsements and shit for saying all the gay shit. Or he should just kept his mouth closed. I ain't gonna lie, when it comes to the mainstream shit, I don't pay attention, I'm underground, so I don't know. <laughs> Dread race! I don't even know too much, I don't keep up with that shit, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You want that nigga say, I'm underground, I don't even pay attention to your ass niggas, man. Nah, I don't do that, bro. Man, you gotta be in the loop of this shit, cause you eventually gonna be, you know what I'm saying, in them circles and shit with them stars. Nah, what I'm saying, nah, I focus on mainstream, but like, when stupidity, when stupidity, I keep sliding, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga doing this? Fuck that. I'm like, yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel you, so bro. I feel you, bro. Man, I feel you. What's one mistake you see a lot of rappers make? Quit. Mmm, I like that. Expound <laughs> on that. Shit. Like, they most very niggas, inconsistent. Most niggas, they'll drop probably a song or an EP and then, or they'll record like four songs and be like, yeah, I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper. Nigga, how you a rapper, nigga? You stayed up promoting these same songs from two, three years ago, nigga. How is you a rapper and you not? Consistent, you know what I'm saying? You don't make yourself a rapper because you anybody can go to the studio and make a song, but that don't mean they singers are rappers, nigga. Like, <laughs> when you a rapper, nigga, you gotta have a name for yourself. You gotta, what you talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, most niggas just going there and rhyme. Everybody can rap to me, like I said, mm -hmm. everybody, mm -hmm. everybody can rap, nigga, it's nothing but rhyming. But what is the creation behind your music? So it's like, shit, niggas quick because it's not for everybody, so you gotta really be. It's really a long thing with, with music, so if you ain't really here with the bond and you just simple bond, you ain't gonna make it. You're gonna get tired of it, because it's not made for everybody. So when you go to the studio, niggas think that shit easy, it's easy. Nah, bro. Nah, that, that shit say work, man. You been there all day, down there all hours of the day, man, and can't find your vibe or just can't find your niche now. I understand how that feel, man. You girls, they dedicated to a special somebody, or you just was vibing, man. What that was about? It's really, that sound was really on <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna hit it since you back. 
Would you sign now, or would you still keep it out, rich mate? Rich mate for it. Rich mate for no partnership with nobody, no. Now five years later, I don't want to see man, you to linked up with these labels, man. The only thing I probably do is the distribution. Yeah, okay. But long see. as I do that distribution, I get my uh, all my rights to my my R W M shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know that's like folk me up and such and such. You right. Know, branch Makes off. sense, bro. You know nah, for real, big back street shit, man. For real, for real, man. Top three things, man. You gotta have when you write when you write your music. Yeah. Some what real quiet. Okay, I feel it. In my fucking brain. Blunt, quiet, <laughs> in your fucking brain. I feel it, bro. Man, Rich Mate Jay on the back streets, man. For the people that don't know, we was like at uh like 500 followers then. Now we at 8K, man. Let people know how you got your name. Uh, shit. Really, like, it started in college. But really, I was another name I ain't agree with. I ain't gonna say that shit on camera. <laughs> okay. It was just, I had sat there and thought, you know, because I started this shit in college. Like, I started rapping when my brother died. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He was also, he was, you know, at his home. He tapped in with a OTB Fast name. You know what I'm saying? He actually, uh, I had a brother. He won my Chino in the street. Yeah, man. Anybody you want to send some last minute shout outs to some love to Big Bro before we got out of here, man? Shit. Shout out to the whole RWM. Shout out to my nigga Ted. Shout out to D Carter. Shout out to Why Did Make the Hook Up. Shout out to all my supporters. Shout out to my tea lady, because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't still be pushing. Big facts. Shout out to all the upcoming rappers, you know what I'm saying? I want to see everybody eat, you know what I'm saying? So we just keep pushing. Man, keep pushing. Keep tapping in with the homie, man. Let them know where they can tap in, follow you. Go get all that good shit. Spoke to the devil that's coming too, man. Y'all go tap in, support the homie, but let them know. All right. Uh, Rich May J, all together. R-I-X-H-M-A-D-E-J-A-W-Y. Man, y'all gonna tap in. Will you ever take the X away or you just gonna leave it there? Nah, see, niggas think that's on some gang and shit, but it's, it's, the X stands for example, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. girl. Wait a minute. The X in my name stands for the, the, the example. Most people think, you know, career right, club. Like, I am a pirate on me. Okay. Pirate, so, you know, I don't talk too much about it, but, you know, niggas know what it is when they see me. So, it's really like. All right, X, but I be telling the whole mm -hmm. movie. It's Crips in my moment too, but it ain't really. We still the X because it don't mean no, Crips blood. That. It mean can't be crowded, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's real, bro. I like that little fun fact, man. Y'all make sure y'all go.